We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. We are saying thank you. Lado sheko pre la tuna zilata. Renta poria besuze likete. Lero shika preketezo zanande leria. We give you thanks, Lord, for your visitation, for the interventions, for the restorations, for wiping away shame, for disappointing disgrace, for disappointing the plans of the wicked. Mighty God, we are grateful to you for the awesome things you have done. Blessed be your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. After this prayer today, every contrary program set by the wicked against your life shall be disappointed. Amen. Your destiny will not obey satanic order this year. Amen. You will not dance the drum beats of your enemies. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Your life will not go in the wrong direction. Amen. Any altar where they are manipulating you, let that altar catch fire. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. It is my new dawn era. What eyes have not seen. What ears have no heart shall be the order of the day in your life. Congratulations and amen. Put your hands together for Jesus and please be seated. God bless you. Whatever God uh, the enemy has done against your family will be scattered. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Disgracing satanic programmings. This fasting which you are undertaking now is ordained to position your life in line with God's plan and purpose. And that is why, as we remain steadfast in this fasting and prayer, whatever looks like a manipulation, a programming surrounding our life, our destiny, which is not in his will, which is not part of his plan, they will be disappointed. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. In as much as God's plan for your life is sure, I want you to hear this. The enemy will not just fold his hand and be watching. There will always be a fight back. That's why spiritual sensitivity demands that you puncture every device every arrangement, every conspiracy. I won't forget the testimony the servant of God shared one time. A little boy, that was his uh, day of covenant naming. Not knowing that the mother has invited some uh, witches. 
She didn't know they were witches for the naming. So when they came for the naming, they started rubbing the boy's head, not knowing that they were collecting the stars. And after they collected the stars, he was left as a vagabond. Hear me? Programming can start from the stomach. I remember a sister that came from Yenegua when I was in Ahoda. Something I read from book, I was now face to face with it. She said, in the night, they will come and take the child away for meeting. Before they will break, the baby will be back. <laughs> And that day was a Koboko service. <laughs> I didn't know how she came. She came for the Koboko service. Somebody brought her. So I said, well, whoever is carrying your baby for witchcraft meeting will flog her dead here today. So we prayed for her and I anointed her. I said, me, that person will see me with Koboko physically. And after that prayer, that attack never came again. Hear me and hear me well. I don't know where they stay to disfigure your life, disfigure your future. Today, your future will be corrected. By predestination, you are programmed for blessing. How do I know? To them that he did predestine, he called. To them he called, he justified. To them he justified, he also glorified. So there is an agenda of glory for your life. You have been programmed for consistent glory. You have been programmed for unending success. You have been programmed for consistent breakthroughs not breakdowns. You are not being programmed from tears. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? So for your life to be dancing the drum beats of your enemy is a tragedy. Big tragedy. For your life to obey evil instruction unconsciously when somebody is remoting you to manipulate your life. You are heading the wrong way and you will get the wrong experience. When powers are using you for their evil purposes, it's a sign that uh, your own has been abandoned. That's why every time you are in a fast, you must make sure that God's program for you is what you meet. What God has destined, what God has prepared. He said, my counsel shall stand and I will do all of my good pleasures. So whatever is hovering around your life as a satanic counsel, as a manipulation, scripture said there is no enchantment against Judah, neither is there any divination against Israel. It shall be said, see what the Lord has done. I want you to hear this. In the spirit realm, there is no coincidence. There is no accident. Everything is cleverly programmed. Cleverly. With intelligence. Whatever you are struggling with now has been programmed. But we are going to deprogram them. In Jeremiah chapter 1, he said something, verse 10, scripture, uh, studio put that scripture. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down and to build and to do what? Plants. 
you deprogram whatever has been programmed and you set in order what should be in place in your life. And Jesus also said again, whatsoever my heavenly father has not planted, shall we do what? Put it. Causes are programmed. Divorce is programmed. Demotion is programmed. Disgrace is programmed. Hardship is programmed. Did, did God prepare you for suffering? Since I was born, now I'm getting old. I've not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his children do what? Beg bread. So a lot of battles or struggles that people go through, they will just resign into faith that uh, maybe this will go. go. I've not seen someone that has a child and will be desiring his children to go through evil torture. And that's why ignorance is worse than witchcraft. An university degree is not equivalent to wisdom. Are you hear what I'm saying now? Being clever does not mean that you are wise. You can be smart, you are not wise. So once things are programmed against a destiny, against a life, against a family, you can only stop it by the force of prayer and fasting. By the force of prayer and fasting. I remember the incident that happened to a professor that was to receive disgrace at the peak of his career. At the peak. Say with me, at the peak. What happened? In the midnight, he left his room where he's sleeping with the wife. And uh, Corey, Corey. He went to where the house help was staying. I was sleeping with the house help. So the wife now woke up. Where this man don't go? Car day, key day. Where in door enter? So she, she didn't shout. She didn't shout, Oni! <laughs> she didn't shout. She just quietly searched from one place to another place and finally met the man with boxers. That was where she screamed, Oh! As she screamed, people gathered. That was how the man was demoted. Rising and falling spirit is a programming. It's a programming. David was to get to the battlefront, but a programming had been set for him. That's why from his uh, master bedroom upstairs, it was now saying, who, who be that with the bath there? He now called uh, Mike. Mike, who be that with the bath there? <laughs> he says, Uriah's wife. Ah, now Uriah's wife fine like this. Okay. Who is the commandant of their battalion? He says, Benga. <laughs> Benga. 
post Sergeant Uriah to Sambisa. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm saying? <laughs> He cleverly programmed it. He was under a... Pro Do you know, you can be foolishly, say with me, foolishly, foolishly. be obeying satanic orders. Yeah. Foolishly. He was under a spell, carrying out another spell. His, his, his throne was under attack. His destiny was under attack. He is sponsoring another attack. Send him, let him go there. So that when, they, when those Boko boys give him one, no court case. But the Lord was watching. The Lord was watching. Wait till you so now you go chop. He succeeded in executing the plan. But that evil did not depart from his house. In our present times, programming of evil is carried out by witchcraft and marine powers. They manipulate destinies, manipulate families. They can manipulate a husband against a wife. Meet. It's been done before. They can manipulate a son against her own mother. Your own is not even the first. So there, there are a series of cases. There was one that happened in Rifi before I came. They manipulated the children against their mother. Four of them. They said that their mother is a witch. And the woman had terrible health challenges. So when she came, I prayed for her. I also gave her money to them to buy food to take care of her. But she said, my son is doing well. Guess what? I collected phone to call the young man. He started shouting at me. I say, if you sleep well today, my name is not Pastor Tony. If you sleep well, I, I don't know your name, but I've heard your voice. If you sleep well today, I'm not Pastor Tony. Guess what? It was Wednesday. Before Friday, he appeared. He said, who are you? He said, I don't have regard for any pastor. I said, you will meet one. You will meet one in your lifetime that will humble you. He now came and said uh, that he's sorry, that he didn't know what came over. I said, now winch come over you. The same winch. He now calm down. I said, how can you people abandon your mother? Are you under a curse? He said, the father told them several things. This is that. I said, you are a liar. I said, if you people don't take care of this woman, and she dies. You will suffer more than her. Write it down. I said so. So he now went and gathered the order of his brothers. Uh, what they have not done before, they did it. They had to renovate the house, painted the place. Started bringing foodstuffs that they have not been bringing before. And you are grooving in Abuja. God punish devil. Any power manipulating you and your family members, their altar will scatter today. Yeah. What does it mean to program? To program means to arrange. You can be, you can be arranged for shame. You can be arranged for accidents. You can be arranged for disaster. You can be arranged for demotion. You can be arranged for humiliation. 
To program means to map out and to mark. What does it mean to mark? Now, you see this thing you call witchcraft mark? This thing you call witchcraft mark? They are not sucking your blood. They want to map you out. Let's look at the archive and know how to attack and program this person. So immediately you see it reacts, engage the blood. Wherever they are programming and arranging you, let the person pay with his head. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Yeah. Wrong marriages can be programmed. All this one you are calling a matchmaking is evil, satanic. Scripture says, he that findeth a wife, not he that arrangeth a wife. I know of cases. A, a, a sister, not a, she's not a sister, she's not born again. The mother is a perpetual visitor of native doctors. So they prepare the charm to trap the young man. That's why we said yesterday, love can be blind, but marriage will tear your eye. So the young man didn't know what happened to him until finally, finally the marriage was sealed. Look at what happened. In his house, there is a telephone that records conversation. So the wife never knew all the conversation that has been taking place. One day the man just sat down and started unwinding the conversation. She was now hearing the, the ultimate ball. The person that prepared the ultimate ball. After I prepared your team for you, you have not paid me. Oh. Now me make this thing go through. Oh. So the man was now wondering, after I prepared the charm, you now marry, you don't forget me. Now me make this thing go through. Oh. So he was now wondering, what, what really happened? So I am the one that they charmed. But it's already late. You can't scatter it. You don't enter, you don't enter. One chance. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? May you not enter any program marriage. That's why when you tell some sisters and some brothers to pray, you say, I've confirmed. I've confirmed. My, my spirit, my, in fact, my, my spirit is telling me she's the one. Can we pray? No, we don't need pray. We don't need to pray. If you are afraid of prayer, something they wrong. Write it down, I said so. You know when you mention prayer, the fear is that uh, God can change his mind. If God changed his mind for something good, is it not better? To so program means to set up. I remember the incidents that took place last year. I felt so bad. One of the gallant soldiers, very intelligent, he led the fight that massacred most of the Boko boys and rescued those girls. After he did it, he was promoted, so his colleagues programmed him. They programmed him. And that was how they programmed him and we do his own boys. Please, anything you are doing, carry your lawyer man. Anything you are doing, carry your lawyer man. He didn't know what was happening. They just withdrew his lawyer man. Because if anything is happening, your lawyer man will hint you, Ogasi, within day. They just withdrew him. Withdrew them. He couldn't pick signal. They now arranged him with a bad setup. Before you know what's happening, he was exposed. And that's how they bulleted the guy. To program means to schedule. Now, 
Life has been arranged for times and seasons. Times and seasons. So every season, there is what? A purpose. So when you are being scheduled in times and seasons, hear me? Make sure you set in order what should take place. Job talked about giving orders to the morning. Meaning, programming your day. It's not a you carry paper and buy room by 10.30. That's a, that's a work plan. We are talking about spiritual programming. As I go out today, no evil shall be for me. You are programs protection. My going out and my coming in shall be a blessing. I give you a mouth and a wisdom which your adversary will not be able to resist nor can say. You can be scheduled for consistent miscarriage because there are evil powers and mass, uh, personalities that monitors your period cycle. Something will happen after this prayer today. Anyone using your menstrual cycle to shoot arrow at you will die within the next 24 hours. A young man came to the village, celebrated with his family. Normally, we bring rice, bring rapa, bring all those things. As he was going, he was programmed. He had accident on the way, two legs off. The wicked can just program anything that they want. But hear me, you have a higher capacity. I said you have a higher capacity. To pull down and destroy. What scripture said, you shall have whatsoever you say. Not what they say. You don't watch if you take place. You react against it. It's not for you to say, Lord, my hand is clean. No, I'm not looking for anybody. Whether your hand is clean or your hand is dirty, somebody is looking for you. So what we are going to do now, we are going to be deprogramming failure, deprogramming stagnation, deprogramming disappointments, deprogramming demotion. Whatever is contrary to God's plan and purpose for your life this year, which is not contained in your new dawn, will be deprogrammed in the name of Jesus. Losses are programmed. Losses are programmed. Lack is programmed. I remember the story of a man. He gave somebody money. We will take this one the last day of the fast. You will bring your own 1,000 as usual. Now they used that his money to fire arrow at him. That was how his business began to nosedive. There are people that are angry that you are blessed. Scripture says when God blessed Isaac, the Philistines envied him. It's not everybody that is happy that you, uh, there is money in your hand. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Yes, sir. Some are desiring to hear that uh, he has started begging. He has sold the car. So when he gave, that was how yeah, the thing went down. Another one, he saw this wicked personality bought some things for him in the shop and paid. He now went and met the person selling the things. That money he gave to you, 
That exact money, give it to me. The man that said, I will call him and tell him now that this is what you said. He said, no, it's just between me and you. Between me and you. Why, why will you need to tell him? I will replace the money, but I want that one, that one, that one. And he refused. Still, he still called the man. He said, be careful of this person though. He wanted to collect your money to do you this. Hear me and hear me well. Your life has been designed to follow divine order, not satanic order. Scripture said the lines are falling for me in pleasant places. Yea, I have what? A goodly heritage. Your life is not permitted to obey satanic orders. Jesus said the thief cometh to steal, to kill, and to do what? Destroy. Sickness is programmed. I remember one of my members. They gave her injection in the dream. What saved her was that she knew that it was wrong. How can they be giving you injection in the dream? That they didn't give? There are some people they gave injection in the dream. They, they died the next day. There are others they gave injection. They didn't survive it. Immediately the thing happened. I said by this communion, wherever they sponsor that arrow against you, let it go back. Let it go back. Yeah. Guess what? The father was an occultic man. He now called her that you are working against me. You are working against me, but you don't know. I'm just telling you, you are working against me. So she now gathered all the brothers and sat the father down. Tell me where I'm working against you. Tell me where I'm working against you. He couldn't say. He said, but I'm just trying to let you know you are working against me. Do you know what? Do you know when she started working against her? Anytime she gives the father money, her business will get K-leg. So before she will now go, she will bring the money. Lakushe pekro tata. Ilazodo. Lekuri. Money go as a blessing. Whoever want to use you against me, smite the person. Now so you be. Since that day, if she goes and gives the man money, he's always angry. Go with your money. I don't want your money again. No. Let these other ones be giving me. I don't want your money again. Hear me and hear me well. The reason why we want to pray this prayer is to make sure no evil voice controls your life. No evil voice controls your family. No evil voice controls your business. If you are saying amen, say better amen. When someone is under an evil programming, he comes under a spell. He comes under a spell. It can never be coordinated. His head cannot be sound. Why? Jesus said, take heed to what you hear. Who you hear determine the voice you obey. Yes, who you hear. Who you hear determine the voice you obey. But I want you to hear this. Every wicked programming designed for you for 2018, no one will come to pass. Rise up to your feet. Are you ready to pray? The wind blow it where it listed. You don't know where it's coming from, neither where it's going to. He says, so is everyone born of the Spirit. After this prayer today, every programming of failure Marital disappointments, career demotion, stagnation, delay will be scattered in the name of Jesus. Amen. Studio put prayer one. 
any evil altar, an evil personality, monitoring seasons and times to sponsor wicked arrow against me. I command their programming to backfire. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lapori kato zananta. Any evil altar and evil personality. Monitoring seasons and times. Keeping watch over the hours to sponsor wicked arrow against me. Wherever you are located, I command your programming to catch fire. I command your invocation to backfire. I command your sorcery to backfire. Every programming of wickedness, every evil personality, monitoring seasons and times against the plan and purpose of God for my life. I command your invocation to backfire. Leratolia kata ezazalata. Retonanglegi legu jego lagadega. Rezo lagaragadegete. Programming of disappointments.